guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing this fox cross stitch on my basic pillow pattern. If you have not made the basic crochet pillow from my last video, please go ahead and do that and then we will be going over how to do this cute fox cross stitch design over crochet. So here we have our cross stitch design. I just found this on Pinterest. I'll be posting um, the graph for it over on my blog. The link will be in the description for that if you want to do a fox. But any basic um, cross stitch pattern will work for this. So here we have the um, basic crochet pillow. Everything is single crochets that you see here. Um, and it, this is right before I actually put the pillow form inside the pillow. It's sewn up around those three edges. So here we are. I'm just counting the stitches to see where I should be starting. So basically, look at your cross stitch pattern and see how many stitches down and how many stitches over from the edge you need to start in order to center your image. So I've identified the stitch here. Look at your single crochet stitches as if they are boxes on your cross stitch pattern. If you've ever done cross stitch, or um, a lot of different kinds of embroidery. It's kind of a grid pattern and it looks like a graph. So look at your stitches as if it's a graph. So each individual single crochet that you can see that little knot because that's really what crochet is, right? Just knots. Um, look at each of those stitches as one box in your cross stitch pattern. So I've just stuck my tapestry needle through to identify what stitch I'm gonna be working with first. And I've just snipped a pretty long piece of yarn and put a knot at the end of it. I'm doing a double strand because if you remember on that basic crochet pillow, um, we crocheted using a double strand of worsted weight. So I'm going to also embroider or cross stitch here with a double strand. So you can see how I'm doing this. You're basically going to do the same technique as you would with normal cross stitch. Just pretend that this is your Ada cloth. If you've never cross stitched before, Really, all you're doing is making little X's. You're sewing little X's over your crochet stitches. So it really doesn't matter where you come in and where you come out um, as far as placing the needle. Now, I am not a cross-stitch expert, you guys. Um, I'm sure that there are uh, the proper ways of cross-stitching, and you may not see that here, but uh, the finished result still looks pretty cute to me, and I've never... I've never really cross-stitched very seriously. I've never really been taught. I've just kind of winged it on my own. So uh, if you're brand new to this, you are not very far behind where I'm at, I'm sure. But if you have cross-stitched before, I'm sure that that'll help you. Um, and if you have any techniques or suggestions, please comment below and give us that information. We'd love to have it. So here you can see that I'm just basically sewing these X's back and forth. Um, I've started in one corner with the top of the fox's ear and I'm just going to work with this orange um, colored yarn and just stitch all of my X's and I kind of jump around a little bit. I come down one side of the fox and then kind of come over a bit and uh, really there's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this because I am not a cross stitcher. I'm a crocheter and uh, I just love this technique. I think it looks really great and it looks uh, very cute and whimsical and it's a lot of fun to do. It is a little time consuming. So if you're used to crocheting and just kind of flying through a project and you never really sit down and hand sew, this will take a little while. Um, I think I spent probably about an hour, hour and a half stitching this little fox, but, um, but the, the reward is totally worth it in my opinion. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward here through sewing. Anytime that you run out of yarn, let's talk about that. Um, Anytime that your strand of yarn is getting low or is running out and you cannot keep stitching, just go ahead and cut another piece of yarn. I was cutting yarn probably about a yard long, and you can see there that I um, basically just tied a knot and then hid it on the inside. So because this is a pillow, um, you can't see the back of this work. So one of the uh, issues with cross-stitching on crochet, if you were to do it on a blanket or on a scarf or something like that is that the back is not always very pretty, especially for those of us that are not cross stitchers. If you have been cross stitching your whole life, I'm sure the back of your cross stitch looks great and more power to you, but I know that the back of my cross stitch is not a pretty sight. <laughs> so um, 
Being that this is a pillow, though, the back of that cross stitch is not the back of the pillow. It's the inside of the pillow. So you don't have to worry about that. So here I am just knotting um, new yarn onto the yarn that I was sewing with. And then I just pull it through, pop it through that stitch, and um, just hide it on the back. So there's really not... There's a lot of room for technical error here, which is kind of the reason that I chose to do this cross stitch technique on a pillow, because if you're not a great cross stitcher, or if you've never cross stitched before in your life, but you like this technique, you like the way it looks, and you can crochet, you can still have a beautiful product. You can still have um, an amazing looking finished uh, pillow, even if you don't know what you're doing. Isn't that fantastic? So here we are, you can see now I'm doing the body of the fox and I've just kind of come along uh, down and around his face and I'm just doing all of the orange. I don't want to switch back and forth between orange and white and black, the three colors that you will need. Um, just because it's easier for me to go ahead and count the oranges. Make sure that you're watching that cross stitch pattern very closely and you're counting those boxes so be sure that you are paying attention to what stitch goes where you don't want to have to rip this out later um, you can of course if you make a mistake you can just unthread that needle and kind of pull it uh, and unsew it but definitely take your time especially if you're new to cross stitch um, and look at your pattern study it and be positive that you are stitching in the right place so just go ahead and continue here with this orange coming up on the tail. And once we're done with the orange, I go ahead and move along to the white. And I again just do a double strand of white. And just sew all of my cross stitch X's in white. And then we just have a couple of stitches of black, so you don't need a whole lot of black yarn. So here we are getting that white going. Once you finish off the orange, um, I didn't really film this too quickly just because I fast forwarded because it did take me a while to stitch all of this up, um, but when you are finishing off a color of yarn or finishing off any yarn in cross stitch, you do want to weave it in on the back, so be sure that um, you're not weaving your ends like you would with traditional crochet through the crochet stitches because we're working with contrasting colors, that's going to show. So we don't want to do that, just weave it through all of that cross stitch um, extra yarn happening on the back, which is really the inside of our pillow. So here we are with the white, we've done the little fox's face, and now we're working on the tail. It does use a good amount of yarn for this project, being that with the basic crochet pillow you are crocheting with a double strand of yarn, and then you're, you know, sewing with a double strand. I used terracotta, white, and black Vanna's Choice. And then of course my easy crochet pillow is um, that oatmeal. So I definitely recommend using worsted weight and using a double strand. If you wanted to do um, a chunkier weight yarn, just do the single strand. But you can definitely do the basic crochet pillow and the embroidery with a chunkier yarn. So here we are finishing. I just did those last few black stitches and then we're just going to weave this black in on the back side, you can kind of see in there how <laughs> messy my uh, the back of my cross stitch is. But that is really okay because guess what? No one will ever see it. You guys are the only ones to ever know how ugly the back of my cross stitch is. Don't ever tell my grandmother um, because the backs of her cross stitches were beautiful and I don't know how she did it. Uh, I wish that we could go back in time and she could teach me because that woman was a wizard with cross stitch. Um, and I fear I will never be that good, but for now we're hiding it inside a pillow. So here we are, I've stuffed my pillow form inside my pillow and I'm just sewing it back up, crocheting with those single crochets just like we did at the end of the basic crochet pillow video. Exact same technique, I just wanted to show you the entire process. So here we are just stitching that back up. And the back of our pillow is still plain, I didn't cross stitch on both sides. Um, a, because the back of the pillow will always be on the couch or the bed or whatever it is. And also, I just <laughs> do not have time for that. That is a lot of work. So we're just doing one fox. You could crochet um, or cross stitch on both sides if you wanted to. You could do a fox on one side, a bear on the other. You could do a heart. You could do anything. 
Um, so go on Pinterest and look at basic cross stitch patterns and you can use this technique with any cross stitch design. You could do a whole blanket with this technique. It's super easy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure to watch out for my next video. It might be a couple of weeks because I'm having my baby in two days. So thank you guys for your patience and thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I will be back soon and see you later. Mm -hmm.